Hey folks, welcome back to Pine Badger Outdoors. Tonight, a little bit of good old fashioned backyard camping with the grandkids. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to our little channel. Stay tuned. It's supposed to get some rain tonight, so we just set up our little, uh, we've been using this little one here a lot lately, this little backwoods bungalow. And it's gonna be me and the two grandkids and maybe Willie. So uh, stay tuned. And uh, we'll touch base back in a bit, and I'll show you our little setup and what we're using tonight. Thanks a lot, guys. Okay, guys. I had the Pink Ranger help me. And what we did today, we just set up our little backwoods bungalow. And uh, we just used uh, some snowshoe poles. And... I cut my poles a little bit like, you know, they're not your normal standard, but it's just to show you what you can do with it. I just put it off to one side and, you know, if we get some rain or whatever, I'll tuck the blue thing in, the tarp underneath. So yeah, I, I brought out the little fan. I've got my little fan in the egg crate. Sissy. Hey, Right up here. Uh, yeah, we've got our light up here, and the Pink Ranger has her little uh, lightweight uh, sleeping bag, and I'm going to have to buy her a better... And I thought she was fit. She is going to use her grandpa's um, insulated air mat tonight, so that'll help her. Um, and <coughs> Axel, Mike Ranger, well, he has a real sleeping mat that... that Grandpa gave him when I got my um, orange one. And Willie's here. Willie's probably going to spend the night with us, or he's <laughs> thinking about it. And I think there's going to be enough room for me and the two kids and, uh, and Willie. So, yeah, it's supposed to rain, and uh, we'll see what happens. Because we've got no tarps over it tonight. I was going to uh, I was going to put a tarp, but it didn't seem to work out too good for us. So we just did this little configuration, and um, Pink Ranger, she is uh, getting ready. She's doing bed stuff, and so uh, yeah, we're going to set up maybe for bed here a little later, and we don't want to get set up too much because then it's going to get all messed up before bed. So. She can just play in her sleeping bag. So yeah, I think I'm going to tighten up. That's the only thing with these one tigress tents. You do realize after a while that you set them up and you you do have to you do have to tweak them. You do have to tighten them. Yeah, but I've got the back really good today. You have to be really careful right here, guys, because if you don't cover the screen properly, it will run in on the floor. And I've seen some guys on YouTube take these two, this one and this one, and combine them together, but I do find it does a better job if you, uh, if you do it this way here, the way it's meant to. And this side is well overlapped also. So, so we should be good there, guys. We have... Slept in a little backwoods bungalow. Oh, gee, I don't know how many times now, guys. It's been a few times. Me and Willie. Pretty much every time we go up to the, uh, the honey hole, we sleep in the summertime. That's the one we use, because for me and him, there's a lot of room in there. Wow, them things work good. Keeps your coffee really hot for a long time. So outside of that, just a sec. You want your water, baby? Yeah. On this adventure, in the wilds of my backyard. Ho, ho, not too far, baby. Zip, zip. You don't open it much because the flies will eat us out. Eat us alive tonight, baby. Okay, it's it's good. You got it good. You got it good. See, we got to make sure, or else the flies will eat us. Anyways, 
we were using this really, really light um, cord. And um, this stuff seems to work really good. I bought a roll of it, but the only thing is you have to burn it. You can't really um, cut it because it'll just fray instantly. And my little headlight, you've seen that before, guys. It's waterproof, so that's why it's dangling there. And yeah, we're just going to tighten up the little tent. And we have a smoker going and a thermosol because it is definitely fly season in the wilds of my backyard. And this isn't something that would be up all night. If anything, maybe I would just dip it even more like that and the water would run off. Yeah. So anyway, guys, I will check in with you guys a little bit later tonight when we get Axel Ranger out here, Mike Ranger, a.k.a. Mike Ranger, Pink Ranger, and Willie, the adventurer. So anyway, guys, uh, thank you guys for coming along on the adventure, and uh, we will touch base with you guys a bit later tonight. Thanks a lot for uh, your time. Thank you, guys. Okay, guys. We pretty much set up for bed. It's way early. It's like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And Sissy brought out Willie's sleeping bag. So, um... I'm going to have a grandkid on each side of me. And... I'm going to try to lay in the middle, and I'm hoping the dog will lay down here if he stays, which he probably will, because, well, that's where he wanted to go, was inside the little tent. And we just set up ourselves a little station out here, and we're just trying to use the Tim's trays and drink a little coffee and... We put our little light up for the night here, our little yard light. We're going to light it later. And I think maybe what we'll do, we have a little can over there that I used to light smudges in. We might bring that over here and just, because I got those thermosel, um, when every time I open a, a pack for the thermosel to replace, I, I like to burn that stuff up. So, But... The thermosel does work good, guys, but these are hard to replace right here. It does make a mess, though, a little bit laying around, but I do know it's supposed to rain, so that'll go right into the ground. So anyways, we'll touch back base in a bit. Touch base a bit later. That's what I'm trying to say, I guess. And like I said, it's not always an option to get out, you know, for, for a full camp. But this is still kind of a full camp. It's just a nice thing is the gear is when I need a piece of gear. It's funny because when you do this behind your house, the funny thing is, is you seem to freaking use a lot less gear, eh? That's just weird. And when you go out in the woods, I'm always, I probably, it depends. I mean, of course, the colder weather, you carry different kind of gear and it's usually heavier, but on average in the summertime, say spring to fall, I'll say between 35 and 40. It depends if I'm carrying my collapsible stove because that weighs, a, you know, three, four pounds. But we'll just say it's there. And then you do it behind the house and it's like it's, it's, but it's bulky stuff though because both the kids are sleeping bags. And, but I've got to get the little girl a, a better sleeping bag. Like this one is from Walmart and it's not even rated, the little pink one. Um, the little fella, I got him one for Christmas actually a couple of years ago. And it's um, rated to zero. It's by Red Camp. And it was um, at the bottom here. There's a zipper right there. And you could tuck it up in because he was he was smaller, but now he's had it so long that I needed to open it up to make it length for him. And the Pink Ranger is going to be sleeping on Grampy's insulated air mat. And Gramp is going to be laying between the eggshell and Axel's Woods Expedition self-inflate mat that Grandpa gave him. And that's insulated also a bit. So we should be good because it's not going to be real cold tonight. <laughs> so anyway, guys, we'll check back in a bit later tonight. And we'll try to get some video. I do have the ring light in there. 
and uh, the little fan of course that goes without saying move the air so until later guys well guys we got a nice little rain going and <clears throat> we're just trying to watch Dory if grandpa can get it going here but we've got a really nice um, little rain going on outside it's pretty nice. so we're toasty and dry And it's almost nine o'clock and the kids get all their stuffies. Gramps gonna lay on this side. So yeah, we're gonna be good. Hey Grandpa, I brought your baseball cap for you. Mm, thanks, buddy. So we're gonna lay here and we're gonna watch our movie. If we can figure it out. If we can figure it out, yeah, and we're gonna put in a nice that'll be nice and toasty. Rainy night. In the tent, in the backyard with the guys. I'll be nice and toasty in here, too. So anyway, guys, mm, we'll catch okay. back with you in a bit. Thanks for coming along, guys. I'll be nice and toasty. Okay guys, it is 7 o'clock in the a.m. and we just came in with the guys. How'd you sleep? Good. You slept good? Me too. You slept good too? I did too. I slept really good. It rained all night and we did have some water in the tent though, but we did sleep with the, um, with the door open almost all night. Well, almost all night. We did. We left it sleep open all the way and there is a couple of the corners that did have a little bit of water, but we were perfectly dry because our gear was up on top of the water. So we slept pretty good, and uh, but I'm going to go out later today and towel it down inside, and maybe we'll go out and hang out the wise. We'll see what happens, anyways. So guys, I'm glad that you got to come with us on this little adventure. We did get a little water in the tank, guys. I'm not going to lie to you on that one. That's a nice little tent in the backwards backwoods bungalow but I do find in the corner sometimes on the floor you do get a certain amount it's not unbearable but with an air mat and stuff it works pretty good so anyways until next time guys keep on a camper with the badger thanks guys <laughs>